Eating raw bread dough is a serious emergency in a dog. That dough rises from the yeast, and as the yeast releases alcohol into the bloodstream, that dog is going to get alcohol poisoning, and that can lead to death very quickly. It's OK. It's OK. What's going on? It's now a race against time to get the fermenting dough out of the young pup's stomach. All done. Good boy, come here, rascal. Me? Hey? Yeah. Hey, rascal? A young border collie has been rushed into the Bondi Referral Hospital sash. Rocket ate a loaf of bread that I was making, and it, nearly an entire loaf. There was all but about one bun's worth left. What about and uh, we've noticed he's been expanding ever since and looks like he's about to give birth to a litter of buns. Katie and her children are worried about the greedy pup's behaviour. Rocket has been known to eat quite a few things that he's not supposed to. So far he's eaten the arm out of a chair, he's eaten underpants, bras, t-shirts, socks, several pairs of shoes. So he's got good taste, but uh, a bit naughty. <laughs> Hello. Got four, this four is... children here. Which one's Rocket? The big fat one, Hi, full Rocket. of dough. Hi, sweetheart, what did you do? Come through. Thank you. When Katie first arrives, she thinks Rocket has been up to his old tricks again, eating something he shouldn't have. And as soon as I look at Rocket, the first thing I see is that his abdomen is really, really big. He's pulled down a tray of dough, okay. and it was quite a large amount. Um, I'd made two breadsticks. Okay. The biggest concern is that when they have eaten dough and that yeast rises, that yeast can form alcohol. Okay. And then he can actually get alcohol poisoning from it oh, as wow. that alcohol gets absorbed into his bloodstream. So it's a really, really serious problem. It can be fatal. Katie's face literally drops when I tell her how serious alcohol poisoning can be. Yeah, so his tummy is feeling really full and, and uncomfortable there. Yep. As time passes, Rocket's stomach is getting bigger and bigger, which means that that dough is continuing to rise as if his stomach is an oven. So the plan is I'm going to take him out into the treatment room. Yep. I'm going to give him an injection to make him vomit. OK. If he doesn't bring up the dough, then we'll have to give him an anaesthetic and pump his stomach. Yep. If we can't get it out that way, he'll have to have surgery to take okay. have all the right. ball of dough taken yep. out of his tummy. I understand. Oh, my God, I could really lose my dog. and. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's not a place we want to even go. We've, we lost a dog a couple of years ago and the family's not really been the same since. Come on, Rocket. Come on, Bud. I know it's scary. Come on, Dal. All right, Sam, we're going to just give this IV. Uh, it's an injection to make him vomit. All right, buddy, it's just going to be a little sting. At Sash, greedy young border collie Rocket is in grave danger after gorging on a huge batch of bread dough. Eating raw bread dough is a serious emergency in a dog. That dough rises from the yeast, and as the yeast releases alcohol into the bloodstream, that dog is going to get alcohol poisoning, and that can lead to death very quickly. It's OK. It's OK. Look at me. What's going on? It's now a race against time to get the fermenting dough out of the young pup's stomach. All done. Done. It was like a little bee sting. Hopefully Rocket will respond to this injection and will vomit up the bread dough, because if he doesn't, things are going to be a lot more serious for him. I oh, know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I've made you feel sick. Hey, bud. Good boy. Here you go, darling. Let's get it all out. That's the way. Come on, hun. Good boy. That's a nice big amount. Let's get it out. Out it goes. Oh. Good boy, hey? That's a nice big one. I wasn't expecting such a big vomit. Rocket hasn't stopped vomiting. There is just more bread dough pouring out of his mouth. His stomach was absolutely packed with the stuff. Good boy. Oh, there you go, sweetie. As much as I hate making dogs vomit, I kind of feel good about making Rocket vomit because he's brought up this big lump of dough and he's potentially saved his own life. So there was the one piece of bread there, and here's the other piece of bread. And then the rest of the liquid is probably just it starting to be digested. That is disgusting, buddy. Rocket's sitting there with a very sad and sorry look on his face, and I think he's feeling a little bit guilty too. 
but the exhausted pup's ordeal is not over yet. Lisa wants to run urgent blood tests and the pup will have to stay overnight at SASH. We're running some blood tests on Rocket now. We need to make sure he's not developing signs of alcohol poisoning and that he's not becoming dehydrated. We'll have to keep a really close eye on him while he's in hospital with us. I think Pippa's more worried than anyone, isn't she? She misses her big brother already, don't you? Hey? At SASH, Katie and her family are anxious to find out if Lisa has managed to get the bread dough out of their other puppy's stomach. When I first saw that he'd eaten a heap of dough and he was feeling a bit sick, I said, well, you brought this on yourself, buddy. And that's what happens when you steal things off the bench, because he does it a lot. And uh, yeah, I had no idea that it was actually quite as serious as it was, to be honest. Hi. Hi. OK. How is dough boy? All right, so. The good news is we managed to get him to vomit out quite a lot of that oh, dough. Good. So two very obvious pieces in there. OK. Because um, some of it probably has been absorbed already, we do need to keep a close eye okay. on him. So it's for the best if he stays in hospital tonight on a drip so that we can flush any of the remaining toxin out of his system. Don't worry, Mike, it's going to be fine. Rocket is not completely out of the woods. He's still at risk of some form of alcohol poisoning, so we need to have him in hospital on a drip to make sure that he's going to be safe. All right, guys, do you want to come see Rocket? Yes, please. Hey, do you want to come see your brother? Yes, yes brother please. Rocket. Let's go. It's going to be really horrible going home without Rocket. The kids are going to miss him. I'm going to miss him. So let's just hope we can pick him up tomorrow and that everything's OK. Good boy. He feels like he's lost about three kilos. Don't you, hey? You got rid of the buns from the oven, hey? Mm. I know, I love you too. Yes, I do. It's really not going to be easy for the family to leave Rocket here in hospital. He's only one year old, he's just a baby, and they are really going to miss him. I just hope that I can get him home to them as quickly as possible. Good boy. Hey? We'll be back soon, OK? You be a good boy. We'll be back soon. Good boy. I hate walking away seeing him like that, with the drip about to go in and potentially not knowing what the outcome's going to be. So, yeah, we're going to think positively, kids, aren't we? Hi, buddy. How are you feeling today? Hey, come on. Get? At Sash, what it's been 24 doing? hours since Rocket's bread do not binge. Let's have a feel of your tummy, see how you're feeling. Lisa had to act fast to induce vomiting to get the fermenting dough out of the dog's stomach. He's bright, he's happy, his abdomen is no longer filled with gas, and the good news is he hasn't shown any signs of alcohol poisoning, which means that he's ready for some food and hopefully we'll be able to go home. Rocket, have a look what I've got over here, bud. I think this is wishful thinking, but sit. With Wait. bread off the menu, Rocket will have to okay. settle for good old-fashioned Go dog it, food. Bud. Good boy. Rocket has definitely turned a corner today. He's eating well, and I think he's ready to go home. Have you seen Dr Lisa yet? Rocket's welcoming committee is anxiously waiting. I think we've all missed Rocket very badly, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, he's the main fixture of the household. He's over there. Give me a baby. Hey, hello. Oh, I'm pleased to see you too. Oh, and he's going to try and fight with everyone. Hello. <laughs> We're pleased to see you too, matey. You've lost a bit of weight. Hey, you lost a couple of loaves. Rocket is a completely different dog from yesterday. He's about half the size that he was. He's full of beans. He's lively. It's good to see him back to his usual naughty self. Thank you so much. No problem. Oh, thank you. Well, I have to keep these ones away from Rocket, I think. Yes. <laughs> knowing his, knowing his behaviours. <laughs> given what happened. You know what? I'm just going to pass on bread for a while. When Katie brought Rocket in, I don't think she realised quite how deadly eating dough could be. But he's responded well to the treatment, and luckily he's going home back to his normal self. And hopefully, from now on, she'll be keeping that bread dough well out of reach. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks very you. much. <laughs> He's going to push you. See you later. Thank Bye. you.
If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way.